Hello guys, I am not a YouTube video creator, so there's no fancy editing or still pictures, but I just wanted to share uh, some things I've done to this bike uh, to make it more of a touring bike. I know there's a lot of folks out there that really are uh, more set to riding this bike in a sport manner, but um, I really like long distance riding and uh, these are some modifications I've made to make it more comfortable. And I know there's quite a few of you guys out there that want to ride these bikes long distance, so I'm hoping uh, this helps you a little bit. Um, so to start with, uh, I lowered the pegs with some advanced sport touring lowering brackets. They lowered about an inch and a half to an inch or something like that. Um, makes a world of difference. Just uh, opening up your knee angle just a little bit on the ride uh, really helps. Another thing you can see that I've done here is uh, this is an eBay version of a 2007 Goldwing uh, foot peg. So it's a little bit wider, gives you a little bit more purchase area for your foot. Uh, really helps out a lot as well. Um, jumping up here, we see I've got the tank grips on. Uh, I do like those. Um, keeps you from sliding around on your bike. Um, but since I added the seat, it's really not a big deal now. Um, the uh, T-Rex engine guards. So pop these on. This is a 2008, so um, they're a little bit different than the 2010 and up engine guards. But... Um, what I did here, I couldn't really find a good solution for a highway peg. So I took an inch and a quarter black pipe and coped it out to fit the one inch diameter of the T-Rex crash bar, uh, welded on uh, two one inch locking collars. And then from there mounted a very common eBay highway peg, uh, most of these are set up for an inch and a quarter bar, so that's why I'm using, uh, that's why I use the inch and a quarter bar, but uh, the highway peg like this, it, it works great. Um, really good position to ride in. Uh, next thing, let's jump up to the handlebars. Um, I've seen a, a couple folks post this on the forum uh, where they put a riser, um, and on the 2008-2009, you cannot put the a riser with a pullback on it. But if you put a two-inch riser, then you can put another two-inch riser with a pullback. Um, this right here is actually very comfortable. I can sit up on the bike straight up and ride comfortably down the interstate. Uh, the wires, cables, everything was long enough. Um, the clutch and brake... I was able to relocate and mount in the riser position. The only thing I had to do was disconnect the front brake center mount um, and pull the cable up. And then when we reattached it here, that secured it, it it's fine. Uh, you've got plenty of lint there. On the clutch side, uh, the hydraulic hose for the clutch, there's plenty of room there. Um, so no issue at all. Uh, jumping up here, I've got the uh, uh, my GoPro mount uh, mounted on top of my front brake uh, master cylinder reservoir. Um, over here, I've got a cup holder, which is great on long trips. Um, if you're stopping fast food, you just pop a drink in there with a straw, and you can stay hydrated on the on the road. Um, I've got a Ram quick mount. Uh, phone holder uh, works great and let's see jumping around here I'm using a v-stream uh, windshield uh, windshield works great I really liked it um, I guess next I've got the v56 mono key uh, GV uh, box mounted on the back and that uh, gives me a lot of additional space there. And uh, I think one of the last things I'll talk about, this is the 
uh, Russell Daylong seat uh, with a heater. And I do have a backrest, although I haven't really used the backrest much because I just got this seat and haven't went on a long trip yet. But uh, would like to talk about this seat for a little bit. Um, it is great. The original factory seat, I found myself constantly wanting to stand up, um, move my legs around, just very uncomfortable, not very long after you get into the saddle. I've even tried sheepskins and, and things of that nature. Nothing really worked. But this thing is the fix. Uh, it is perfectly comfortable. Uh, even after riding for a couple hours, I do not find myself wanting to stand up or move my legs really, even on up to the highway pegs. I'm just very comfortable the entire time. Uh, this seat does have a heater on it uh, for the front uh, position, and that's really great on cool mornings to pop that heater on and stay cool. Uh, so a couple things with this seat, it does increase your seat height. So um, I'm about 5'11", uh, pretty short inseam at probably 29, 30 inches. Um, so that left me tiptoeing this heavy bike and really didn't like it at that point. So I did put a T-Rex lowering link underneath, as you can see here. And to balance out the front, I dropped the front forks through the triple tree. And overall, I think I've lowered this bike about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. And I am completely 95% flat footed on the bike. It can move the bike very easily. Um, one other thing I had to do was add this wheel, windshield extension um, because the windshield was not quite tall enough. Uh, I was given a little bit of buffeting with the taller seat. So the windshield extension, this was just an eBay purchase. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And it actually works great, uh, no problems at all. Uh, another thing I had to do with the Russell uh, my wife rides with me some, not very often because she has her own bike. Um, but the backrest was positioned too far forward with the Russell seat. So what I did was welded on a two and a quarter extension onto the advanced sport touring uh, GV trunk mount. And that allowed this trunk to go back two and a half inches or two and a quarter inches, excuse me. Therefore, I could take the backrest and move it back um, into the furthest back position. And that is a pretty comfortable ride for when you're riding two up. Um, so yeah, that's uh, about it. Uh, there are some things I would like to do. Uh, my next steps would be probably adding some lights to the GV uh, trunk box. Uh, maybe a, a tag light with a built-in uh, brake modulator to bring some attention to uh, uh, when I stop. And another thing I want to do on the front is I am going to mount some fog lights, uh, the yellow fog lights um, on each side, um, probably just underneath my highway pegs, and uh, that'll give some better visibility. Uh, when driving down the road to drivers pulling up to an intersection and things like that. Uh, so again, just trying to make my bike more visible. That's going to be the next step. But uh, so far, that's it. Um, I will probably post this on the Concourse 14 Facebook page and hope this video helps you guys.